Hey, hey, hey! How are we doing, guys? Thanks for tuning in to this little Let's Play series of mine. This honestly might be one of the last long-form ones I do, or at least where I just sit and chat while I play the game and, you know, randomly progress through the story or whatever story my character is creating for himself. I think I might be making more, I guess, uh... I don't, I don't want to use the word bite-sized, but compartmentalized little videos that are more cinematic. Just, you know, my adventures for a session and maybe even trying to tie up a little plot that happens in the game. Kind of just might make a lot more cinematic videos of that and have that be more, I guess, in order and add that to this series, or this Let's Play series, so... It'll still be cohesive, but this will be more of a the original long form version of it. But that's just my thoughts and kind of how it's looking for how I like to play and record. And the further I get into this game and uh, see kind of what people are viewing and how they're watching my videos and all that. But besides all that ranting, I'm out here looking for. Uh, civilian outpost and I don't find one for quite a bit and I end up actually searching a hot minute I really like this planet and I go all around on this planet to find a civilian outpost because I just I like the the flora and fauna on it there's these nightmare creatures that are pretty terrifying and they're fun to kill and they're all over so that's just fun and found the civilian outpost Finally, jump for joy. Couldn't believe it. I mean, you're not seeing it, but I think I landed about six different places before I finally got one, so... An observation deck, hey, I'll take that. So, pretty fun stuff. End up uh, heading on over there. Nothing better in Starfield, honestly, than just finding a gorgeous planet that you love. It's quite remarkable, as I would say. It's what I loved about No Man's Sky, is finding a sweet planet that I thought was cool, and I just wanted to build there and live in that world and live on there and have, it, like, explorations there. But Starfield really scratches my itch with actually having POIs and uh, reasons to be here. And, uh, yeah, I get really excited when I find a cool planet that just looks gorgeous these new atlantean trees right here these flying bat vultures pretty gorgeous not gonna lie a little volcanic rock action but as the sun eventually sets i make my way to the town or civilian outpost as they would say which is that's a mod i want to do is larger civilian outposts like small villages uh more as a POI. That would be cool. I'd be down. Got a Hulker. Nice. Always good when you have an outpost that has a parked spaceship and an actual building. Like, this is, like, brick or some sort of stone that they've built this out of, it almost looks like. And I'm sure they have the giant, uh, you know, half-round table and all the supplies inside, so... Let's go on in and check it out. Yeah. Look at that spread. I could clean up your uh, front entryway a little bit, but I'll forgive you. Looks like you've been doing some renovating. Junk weighing you down? I may be willing to buy. Hello there. If you can afford that ship, you can afford our supplies. Best prices on the planet. Nah. Does this mean you want to leave? No, I just need my ship repaired. Supply is low. Some rough but the mail is also low. Yeah, let's see what you got for sale. Yeah, demand I bet is low. We'll change that. We're going to build something here. So I go through, get a bunch of resources, and I get on out of here. 
and I'm looking around, kind of trying to figure out where to go, and I didn't even look at the surface map, I just ran towards the civilian outpost, and look at this, a donut lake, with a little island in the middle of it. I thought that was so cool, in all my hundreds of hours of playing this game, I have not seen a POI, or a, a, a body of water like that, not even a POI. So I make my way up and over the cliffs, find this uh, Antominus farm. I've worked on a farms before where you water and have to use the pivots and the wheel wells and water lines to go everywhere and it's cool to see that a lot especially in you know parts of the free star collective but it's all over it's in aquila city or in a new atlantis as well these cool like these are what i imagine pivots of the future would look like giant watering domes that are you know sitting there and making a circular crop. Probably would want a little bit more, but... I don't know, it's just it's a nice representation of what it would look like in the future. Hello, sir robot. Combat robot. This dog? This dog don't like me. That's never good when there's a combat. These are all just straight, like... I know that there's the nightmare monsters on here, or creatures, but I don't know why you need so many combat uh, droids, I guess. Oh shit, there's a dead person on the ground. Well, this ain't good. You gonna, you gonna hurt me? This unit is well equipped for combat. Vacate this area for your safety will be compromised. I do not want my safety to be compromised. What do you got on you? I'll take your credits. Sorry about the rest. find ourselves now coming up upon another hill overlooking the lake and that's pretty gorgeous I mean not gonna lie I just had to sit and look the rain beating down the thunder striking or the lightning striking and thunder rolling across the, the plains or the fields it's a pretty cool jungle planet I want to do more here and this probably will be a big operating base for me since there's an outpost here unfortunately Get in the water. It's killing me rapidly. Too rapidly. I kind of was hoping I could make it through and but no, I immediately just perish. Whoop, whoop, freaking out spasm. Boik. <laughs> so I make my way around the lake. I guess looking at it to the right side of it. Or left, I'm not really sure. I need to get my northeast, south, and west directions here. But I try and build the closest point to it. And we're gonna build a bridge. And that is gonna be my main outpost goal, is to, and I'm, and I'm gonna have to build two outposts to make these connect. And I've never done that before, so that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. But, you know, first outpost, here it is on Donut Lake. And yeah, if I can just build a little hab right here and build out towards that, have to get enough materials, but luckily I have that outpost that's right here, so I can just keep coming back, boop, 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 whenever I want to cheese it, add a bunch of the vendor credits in their supply, hopefully, maybe with some mods I can do that, and uh, we're going to make it to there, and it'd be cool if I could connect two outposts, if I can't, then I'm just going to straight up uh, delete this one that's on the land, and this will be my straight up smuggle outpost where you have to swim to get over here and you can't because you're gonna die cargo ships in and out be kind of cool little role play for me especially because i want to find a mod that allows me to make aurora whatever crafting material i can so then i can 
craft the Aurora at a station and go and sell it to places and have the risk of doing the scanners and doing contraband and mainly contraband in one specific, you know, genre. Drugs! So that's my goal and I'm gonna just try and, you know, do all that and facilitate a cool little cinematic experience of my stories going forward. Look at this blood red lake as the sun rose and then it shing, shined up. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous sunrises here and I wasn't even aware that would happen. So pretty, like sometimes, you know it's a good game when you have to just stop what you're doing and find a view or find a spot to enjoy the view. So, built there, or once I realized I didn't have any more resources to build, I left and found myself back in orbit. And we are gonna land on Aquila City. I wanted to land right on the side and see if I can, cause something else I wanna experiment with is building right next to Aquila or finding like the pixelated land right outside of Aquila so I could walk there from another I guess pixel but uh, every time I think to do that that just feels like I a lot and I already don't know exactly which way to go so maybe when I have more time I'll experiment with that but anyways I leave and decide to land actually at Aquila Sorry. which after getting here, I meet with the Trackers Alliance. This new update that has that brought a lot uh, the Trackers Alliance with us. I'm from the Trackers and, uh, Alliance. She I found me. For you. Uh, did I do something wrong? Am I wanted? No. Well, huh. at least not as far as we're concerned for the moment. Okay. A proposal on me, but I don't even know you. What? Oh, got it. You're trying to make a joke. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. Yes, it's a proposal. No, not that kind of proposal. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, They'll guide you through our initiation process. Hmm. I'll consider it. And if I show up, you'll have your answer. I suppose we will. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Alright. Will do. Now, I wasn't really sold on being a bounty hunter. Uh, cause I'm not quite what I was looking to roleplay, more of a scoundrel type, fighting off bounty hunters, but, you know, more I learned about the Tracker's Alliance, as you'll see, I'm sure everyone's already seen, uh, it kind of seems like something I want to do. Kind of funny, there's a lot of different types of bounty hunters you could be, it's not just a one shoe fits all. Evening, sir. Hey, how we doing? Oh yes, if I haven't mentioned before, I downloaded the... Uh, Star Wars characters mod because I love Star Wars and it's it's not even I guess it kind of I mean obviously it breaks the lore of Starfield but I'm it, it doesn't even change anything these are just other people you know it's just cool to see Star Wars characters in the game it just makes me feel more like I'm in the space game and I love to have fun in these games and that's what that does for me and I get all kinds that's of the whole point right rangers traders locals tourists they all come to me for supplies sounds like business is booming your business quick show me what you got for rangers sale plan. take a gander i'm just gonna buy see what i can get from these people i mean i initially came here just to get more supplies and then go to my other place to uh get supplies from that outpost after time to change but all right gonna head this way you know we decide to go to the bar and enjoy a little bit of time there i like to role play when i get into town that i'm actually 
doing what I would do if I had to drive all the way in here or go into town. So, you know, sometimes you want to do a little day drinking and no better place to do it than the hitching post. You know, I thought there was like a convention in town or something. I should be more alarmed with these weird looking people creeping up behind me, but uh, I've been hearing mumblings while I'm here at this bar that there's refugees from outside the settled systems. I'm not sure, Everett's kind of a lot. I guess we thought we were the only alien life, but something else has come with it that uh, people are more concerned about. Don't really know what, but well, that guy was looked into my soul, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna go into this tracker alliance because I'm freaking out. There, things are getting weird. I don't know what's going on, but mods have brought in a whole new world to Starfield. I hope there's not wars in these stars. Yeah.